What's up YouTube? As you can see, I'm shaving my face, look like a kid again. So, about this damn coronavirus shit, man. I, I feel like it's getting blown way out of proportion. The media's kind of hyping shit up. Everyone's going into a panic. But shit is still getting serious regardless of that. Because Louisiana, bars are shutting down, casinos are shutting down, you know, it's serious. <laughs> if we're shutting down alcohol and gambling in Louisiana, shit's for real. But, <clears throat> as a, all the other truck drivers, what I say to do, or what I suggest to do, not say I ain't telling you to do anything, but my suggestion to do during this time is every single canned goods you see, buy it. Stock up on your truck on some canned goods. Limit the activities in the truck stop that, you know, limit your contact with people like you're supposed to, wash your hands, all that bullshit that you always been told your whole damn life this time of year whenever flu comes around and all that. So, as of right now, I'm going to keep running. Um, as long as money keeps coming, I'm going to keep running. Where I'm from, Louisiana, shit is shit's getting pretty bad on shutting down stuff right now. And my wife's doing last minute grocery run. Uh, hopefully she finds everything she needs. And you know, our newborn eats off a of titty, so it'll be alright, as long as she's alright. But that's good, it's getting a little uh Get a little eerie, man, with, with everything that's going on. But I clean my truck every day anyways. With that, so I've got this and half of a smaller one left. I've got this. Some 409 down there, too. I got me some jugs of water. Um, but I don't have as much food as I normally do or that I'd like to keep in the truck. So every time I see a canned good that I could use, I'm going to grab it. Probably going to be from a truck stop. It's probably going to be overpriced. But that way I know if shit really does start to get even more serious, I'll, I'll have what I need in the truck. I've probably got two weeks worth of food in the truck if I stretch it really well. But from how things are looking, it might be a little longer than, longer than that. So... This truck stop I'm at has been full since 9 30, 10 o'clock this morning. Slap full. There's a driver leaving right now, but it's kind of, yeah, it's odd for that, this many trucks that early in the morning and through, the, and through the whole day to be sitting. So that kind of, kind of makes me wonder is trucking industry gonna start slowing down a little bit right now <clears throat> I figured it'd be picking up figured you know more stuff would be needing to move more critically and more urgently than normal and Saturday I guess when I looked rates were starting to pick up a little bit now they're kind of back to where they normally are so I don't know. I don't know if this is a good thing for us or a bad thing. Um, certain certain loads are paying better than they normally are, but the hassle you have to deal with with them is it worth it? And I'm not talking about necessity loads. Like I'm not talking about water. I'm not talking about this toilet paper craze that's going on. But like fucking beer. First load I got offered this morning was beer. Going to Louisiana. Our bars are shut down. Our casinos are shut down. Why the fuck am I hauling beer to Louisiana? <clears throat> I'm not going to. Because my luck is I would haul that load and I'd get out there and whatever facility that moves it would be shut down not taking anything because they're not sending anything out. That would be my luck. So I decided not to take it. The last few loads that 
last two loads that I got offered today. They were, they were paying good, but <clears throat> there was no way I was making on-time pickup nor on-time delivery with the hours I have left of the day, or had at that time left of the day. And even if, you know, it was a necessity load that I could run past my hours of service, all that, I'm not going to fucking do that. I'm not going to drive tired. I'm not going to risk hurting, killing myself or anybody else on the road because then I won't be making any money from a family. I won't be able to provide for my family. So there's no point in doing that. If at the end of that day, I can't do it ever again, there's no point. So, I don't know. I don't know if the if it's going to hurt the trucking industry or help the trucking industry, honestly. I figured it would help it. I guess it all depends on what you haul. Like, I got a dry van, so I can haul a good bit of store supplied stuff. Chemicals, cleaning supply, paper towel, toilet paper, stuff like that. If I was in a, in a reefer unit, you know, meat, stuff like that, that needs to be hauled. So, now, Northeast, I saw was paying pretty well. But, if shit started to really hit the fan, I'd like to stay kind of close to home. I'd like to stay more southern states. I don't know. It's just shit to think on. I really didn't think it'd be this bad. I've always been one to want to be prepared, but never really went and bought all the prepper supply stuff. I think the only prepper shit that I ever bought was tobacco seeds good bartering tool man I got some seeds at the house that we haven't grown any yet but I tried one year and I was working a lot my wife didn't take care of the plants and they died which it wasn't her duty to take care of them they were my tobacco plants you know so my fault they died but little things that I do want to start is like growing onion garlic lettuce tomatoes easy stuff to grow take a little longer on some of them to get it to where they need to be but all the all of them doomsday preppers don't look so crazy to some people now I'll say that much it's definitely a lot of people are wishing they took some of them seriously and did some of the things they did probably I know I wish I would have had more canned goods and stuff like that stocked up at the house and here and some general some some other things stocked up more but really I was joking with my buddy today he was like I don't know if I have enough ammunition so you don't need that much you just need a long range gun get a good shot you shoot a motherfucker and take whatever he's got so you don't need that much off hand you just need to be able to obtain what you need for the rest of the time so that's my thought on it Oh, my buddy just messaged me asking when I was going to come back home. It's a good question, man. Very good question. When am I going to come back home? Well, hopefully on Friday. But we'll see. See how everything goes, but I'm going to go ahead and stop this video now. I just want to do a little rant. Just talk. I'm bored. It's kind of how it goes. It's kind of when I make videos when I'm bored. Or when I'm actually cooking or something like that. I might even do a video of Tree Zone Egg or something like that. Well, tree Zone Egg Burrito. So We'll see, but y'all take it easy. That's my kind of thought process on shit and how I'm feeling. Still salty about my birthday. Y'all take it easy.